So the first interview we did, man, um, you told a story about seeing Buntry and Suge Knight get knocked out by a guy named Bruce. But um, you didn't go into detail about it. So if you don't mind, can you give me a detailed account of the incident? I didn't really say they got knocked out. I said they got fucked up by he, the dude. Uh, he knew karate and stuff. Bad motherfucker. And they got into it. And uh, he got on Suge. Fucked Suge up. You know, the barber wasn't the first dude to whoop show gas. You know what I'm saying? So Probably tell me about there. the incident. What club it was at? Um... It was at Bar One out there in, uh, I think it was at Hollywood, close to Beverly Hills right there. It's a club, Bar One. What year? I was like 90, uh, 95, 95, 94. Yeah. Okay. And, and, uh, um, you said Bunchery and Suge both got beat up by Bruce? Dude, uh, dude was a bad motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he whooped on Suge first and Cuss went to help. And dude knew karate, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I told him all the time, man, I ain't the baddest motherfucker, he ain't the baddest motherfucker. And your brother ain't the baddest motherfucker. Somebody always gonna, gonna be better than you. Just like Mike Tyson ain't the baddest motherfucker no more. It's so always somebody gonna take, uh, take your crown, dude. Too many people out of seven billion people on earth. You're not the toughest motherfucker on earth, dude. So yeah, dude, dude was a bad motherfucker. What was they fighting over? I don't really know. I it wasn't none of my business, but I, I seen the incident. What happened? Yeah. So let the people know a little bit about Bruce Richardson. He owned like a little car wash on uh on like seventy fourth from Western. You know what I'm saying? He was, and he was getting money, top notch dude, real motherfucker and everything. And he wound up with dead, you know, the next day or something like that. Shit was weird. So after Bruce beat up Suge Knight and Buntry, the next day he ended up dead? That's, yeah, yeah that looked weird. Yeah, wind up dead. Yeah, it's a trip. So yeah, that, that's a trip like uh, how, how they got the 60 dude, then they got the they got the uh, the neighborhood car first, by like beating him up, killed the dude on the dance floor. Then they get the moving and grooving car with the Bruce, then they try to do the uh, the, uh, the hub of the dub car. We went. I, I, I seen all this shit uh, escalate. I like damn. They try to whoop every crip car, and we wasn't having that with us. So what was um Suge Knight and Bunchery reaction after they got beat up? They just kept it moving and took the L, or yeah, yeah, they was pretty mad. Dude, dude was a bad motherfucker, man. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Dude was a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Your nephew, Orlando Anderson, you know, he was a street dude, Southside Crip, and, you know, people were saying that, you know, he was a street dude. He was following the street code, and, you know, you got some people out here that wonder, you know, if he was a street dude, you know, why did he sue the Tupac estate in the Feeney? Well, he wasn't supposed to, bro. His lawyer told him to do that. And we, and you think Johnny Cochran bad out here. Our boy Edie Fall a bad motherfucker, too. You know what I'm saying? Our lawyer told us to do. He he kept us up, kept me out. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh about a month before I got out of prison, he like, man, if Chuck Phillips released this story, you will never get out. Like what? He said I'm just, I'm I'm gonna make you sign this thing where uh, he can't release the story, but he need to talk to you. I said all right. Well, I had a we had a smart ass attorney dude. He was up on game, dude. Who is them? Them who is them? The people that the name street code. Who are them to make street code? Who 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 make the codes? A, a guy on the internet make the codes? Come on, man. Sure, didn't want to keep anybody street code. He sent the police to bring us the fucking money. The, the, the dudes that that, that joke. I, I'm quite sure he said this. The dude that uh, that job uh, that I'm gonna get the money to. Them the dudes. That did that, and he did it on an interview one day. He said, uh, he was in a he had on a little red and white, uh, red and white checkers uh, shirt. Like, Y'all had the right people. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Man, y'all just you know you're not watching it, dude. I, I'm the one who went through this. Reggie Wright, none of them dudes went through this. Greg Kane, none of them, dude. You know what I'm saying? They had, some, they had a major crime unit on my ass for fucking 15 years. One dude dick was so hard that we come down the one way, he came down the wrong way. 
the FBI, dude. You know what I'm saying? They had us, uh, they had us, uh, stretched out on the street on Artesia, Long Beach Boulevard, the whole street blockaded off, dude. Them dudes' dick was hard, dude. And the, 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 the day that I got arrested in 98, walked in there, the whole, they take over Linwood substation right there on Alameda and, uh, Imperial. They took over the whole FBI. I walk in there, keep it in! I'm like, damn! People I ain't never seen before in my life. So they put me in this little one-man cell. Dude came up there, like, hey, man, I just want to see who keep it in. We were like, man, get the fuck away from the motherfucking cell, bitch. And he like, hold it, hold it, bro. I ain't did nothing to you. I just wonder why, how you got all these people intimidated. Intimidated out of you. like, man, I really, I thought you was like 6'2", 280. You a little bitty dude. Like, yeah, you got these people out there scared, man. Little FBI agents, man. So, fuck with Reggie. They were talking about I ain't worried. Reggie, if you ask me one more question about Reggie, I'm through fucking with you, dog. Because they don't know shit. They wasn't there. They don't know shit. 